Hey, Martha. Take a look what we're going to be eating tonight. Whoa, filet mignon. Look at that. Gorgeous. So, uh, how big are these? About seven ounces or something like that, please? Yeah, I, I think so. I think oh, so. Man. Nice Take and a delicate. Look. Now, um, right. now these are going to go on the one. grill. These would be fantastic. Whoa, man. You getting hungry or what? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's put this together. See how this is going to work out, man. All right. So as you know, it's a it's a pretty delicate piece of steak. So we're going to treat it with the utmost respect. So we're going to start off with just a small incision across the bottom here, and flip it over. And so you're cutting the filet mignon. Yeah, we're going to open it up a little bit because we're going to give it a little bit of special sure. treatment. I'm telling you, looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Oh, <laughs> so just a nice incision, just up above from the bottom. Flip it over. Perfect. And cut it into a nice long strip. Oh my God. So, no, you're not going to get this in the restaurant. I don't understand this. Style you might have to work request it. Yeah. Look at that. So we have two nice so filet mignon is, strips. The Heritage brand and the filet mignon. Right, so there's. Probably just one, one more step to take, and uh, I think right. I'm going to just. All right. Bit... So, got to get the grill fire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. What? So. <laughs> so this here is a filet mignon burger. Totally get it. Oh, look at this. So I just separate them into yep. longer strips for an easier feed. Yep. Just like that. Yep. And just use your standard meat grinder, right? And. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. I guess we get where we're going with this now. Look at that. Making the vey mignon more tender. Look at that. Now we're going to use about half of this per burger, so we we'll just separate them and I'm going to add some butter for fat. And we're going to keep the mix loose. So I'm going to blend this butter in so it'll help bind, but we don't want to be squashing it together. We want to keep the, the meat particles as loose as they can be. So just mix it around a little. And what goes better than butter in general? Don't want to overwork it. Start to form these up. So, the All right, so we want to form them as tall as you would expect a filet mignon to be. But of course, we can't put a filet mignon steak in a burger because it's it's not going to be that edible. And then we're just going to press the sides out and we get rid of that yellow jacket. Yeah. And just try to keep a little bit of that height. So, just like that. Yeah. Yeah, so put that down there, we'll form the second one. You bring this out to your picnic. Then we'll <laughs> spread it out. It will shrink about a third, so you want to just spread out a little more than your final size. Just like this. And because it's so loose, any of those large cracks, just try and touch them together, because they will separate. And the seasoning. Sun is killing. SVG. So here we go. Let's get that. Give them a nice dose. Like that. And we're only going to do one side on this because we're giving it a generous dose on the top and it will, should be able to permeate the meat because it's not tightly packed. And the next thing is we're going to use this cake rack because it's got a fine grate which is far smaller than the the Weber grate, so because these are going to be very loosely packed, we don't want to have to lift them and round on the grate. So we'll transfer them on this. Now, of course, you could cook these on the stove in the kitchen, right? Sure yeah, could. That's right. Same, same. Nice. It's going to be awesome. Okay. So we're just going to leave them opposite the hot coals, like this, and 
we're going to add our this around. A bit of damage control. There. So we've got some uh, olive oil going on here. So we're going to put a little sprig of rosemary, sprig of rosemary, and a little garlic. Garlic. And we're going to roast that up. Yep. Make sure you get plenty of garlic. Yep. And keep an eye on it. You don't want to burn that rosemary. And last step is I'm going to add about a cup of uh, wood chips. Get them up down there. There we go. Mm -hmm. Alright, we gotta check this out. Oh, look at the garlic. Let's get that garlic off. Garlic and butter. Now, look at these. Things are getting really close. Look at these burgers, man. Oh, Martha. Martha. We just got a couple more minutes to go on these. Yep. Done. Oh, done. All right, back on. Oh. Quick trick with the butter. Oh, Next step is uh, we're going to add some butter to this mix to create a little garlic butter, okay. which we're going to use a little in the next stage. Well, this is a quarter pound of butter. Though. Yeah, you want to make sure you have plenty of butter. Just let that, let that melt gently over there for a few minutes. Okay. All right. All right. Is this ready yet? What's up? Yeah, it's oh. ready. Lord yeah. of heaven. What a fragrance. Tell me what that is. Okay, let's get the bun. Toast up those uh, buns. And it takes yeah, some. Yeah. So now you could set these up any way you want, but of course we've got the garlic butter. So you know where this is coming. Let's get that out. <laughs> yeah. We're not wasting that garlic butter in by the way. That's that's got a special purpose. Look at Steve Martin once said. I'm sure I'm not sure if that's enough garlic or anything. Like that. It needs a little more. You'd be surprised how we'll receptive get, it is. We'll get a double garlic next time. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look at this. Okay. All right. And it's all about this. All right. So these burgers, we pulled them off at about about 120, which is exactly where we want them. The next step is just carefully pick them up, and you can see how delicate they are, and place them on top just like that. And that looks one. pretty tender to me. Carefully place it on here. Like so. Yeah, that was a little magic. A little, little garlic drizzle of garlic butter. Mm -hmm. Just for good measure. Yeah. Oh man. And a little on there. You're not going to get this at your local restaurant. Not a chance. There it is. That is a filet mignon burger. So, so the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check, check out barbecuepitboys.com. Cut. Take ten. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>